less than on the classic Highway to Hell by ACDC. Um, I was kind of inspired to uh, do a bit of ACDC because I'm borrowing this at the moment. Um, the irony being it's probably, uh, the rhythm part was probably played by Malcolm Young who was probably using a Gretsch guitar, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, it's much more important that we've got a great sounding rock track, a great riff, everybody knows it, it's really fun to play and relatively speaking it's quite straightforward, particularly compared with most of ACDC's uh, kind of kind of stuff. Um, so a great one to learn. Um, in terms of uh, sound, uh, I won't delve too much, but obviously if you've got an SG or, or a humbucking guitar, you, you're gonna probably be on the right track. Um, I think probably your, your bridge um, Bridge pickup is probably a good place to start and not too much overdrive. Most people think ACDC, particularly the rhythm parts, were done with loads of overdrive because it's rock and it's heavy and it's not the case. They're actually quite, uh, you know, sort of just overdriven sound. So do bear that in mind if, if you're into that sort of thing and you want to get a sound that you, you know, a sound that's quite faithful to the original. Anyway. So I've taken the tune, I'm not gonna go through chorus first, chorus first, and kind of a, I'm just gonna give you three parts to learn. Um, it's a really great way to learn tunes as well if you can just kind of get your parts down together. We've basically got the main riff, which is the part like that. You probably need about three, three notes there and everybody knows what it is. So that's the main riff. Then you've got the chorus, which is the that whole section there, and then we've got what I'd probably call the bridge or the bit before the solo, um, which is just uh, the... Um that whole part there. Three parts, relatively straightforward, okay? So we'll start with the main riff, okay? It starts on an open A chord, and I'm playing it as you would um, any open A chord. I would imagine you know what that is uh, by now, hopefully. But don't play your top E string, we're just playing 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd. Now part of a lot of what this song about, particularly in the main riff, is right hand muting. Okay, so I'm playing, sorry, my right hand is muting those strings and, and killing them so that we're not getting, okay, we want to just, ever so gently with the right hand, just, just literally touch the strings. If you do this, you don't want that, you just want Okay, just nice and short and sharp. Okay, so that's the first A. Comes after beat three, it's the end of three, so it's one, two, three. Just like that, okay? So that's the, fir the first part. We then move on to this D over F sharp chord. Now, if you've not come across this, the concept is that you've got a D chord on the top and you've got an F sharp in the bass, okay? Works really well in this context. So I'm playing first finger, second fret, sixth string, I'm playing 2nd fret 3rd string with my middle finger and I'm playing 3rd fret 2nd uh, string with my 3rd finger. Okay. Now this is the key, you're muting the 5th string with your 1st finger unintentionally by resting the flesh against it. Now you, you think that sounds really complicated, it will probably kind of happen involuntarily, relatively easy, just keep your 1st finger relatively flat, try not to do that or anything. Okay, so you should have 6th string, 5th string muted, open 4th, uh, third string fretted on uh, second fret, and your um, third string, uh, second string fretted, fretted on your third fret. Don't play your top string. Some people do suggest that that's what you play. I'm not sure, and I think to be honest, that sounds better anyway. Okay. Now you're changing from D over F sharp to G. Now the good news is, all you need to do is keep your third finger where it is. Get ready of your first, and move your third finger over to the third fret on the sixth string. Again, it's muting the fifth string. So you get this sixth string, sorry, sixth string, muted fifth, open fourth, open third, second string fret at third fret. Okay, so you need to get used to the chain very quickly. It's gotta be pretty sharp. I would spend some time doing that if you're not, if it doesn't feel comfortable, okay, because you're doing that a lot in this song. Okay, so the, the main riff, let's just take it through. We start with the A and we've got one, two, three, D over F sharp. It's that change, then we go again. Then. Now the last part of that is a little trickier. What I'm gonna suggest, I'm gonna go a bit rogue here and suggest rather than me breaking it down into ands and fours and all of that sort of thing, um, is to suggest that you clap or tap this rhythm straight away. Now, based on the, the, the fact that you've probably heard this song, you know, 
hundred times, so you know the rhythm really, in your head you do. And it's not hugely complicated, it's quite long, but I would suggest just starting with, even just doing this on the mute strings, just having it in your head, da -da -da, two, three, da -da -da, two, three, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, okay? Just try it, okay? Because 99.99% .99 of the time, if you get a student to clap or tap something, they can play it. Most, most of the time, you'd be really surprised. So I would definitely uh, try clapping it or tapping it or moving it, whatever it is, you've got to just try and internalize the rhythm. So first thing to do is just work on that change. Okay, then try and just tap it or clap it and then try it out. Okay, I'll go very slowly once more. So it's one, two, three. Okay, and then we do that again and again. Now the last one, we're going from the D over F sharp back to the A. So the very last time you're going D over F sharp. Okay, and that's the end of the cycle. It then starts again. So one more time. One, two, three. A D over F sharp. D over F sharp again. And again. The last one. Back to the A. Okay, and that's your cycle completed. Um, that repeats through, that's, that's the intro, and you also continue playing that whilst he starts singing. Uh, I believe that happens uh, four times as a four bar loop before we move into the chorus, okay? But again, I'm not focusing too much on the structure today, we're just talking about the section so that you can look to put the structure together later, okay? Next part's the chorus. Now, before we go into the chorus, Okay, so on the last section, so when we've, if I come up to my last section of the riff, we're going to go as usual. Sorry, let me do that properly. <laughs> okay, here we go. Instead of going back to the A, we go to E. Now he's he's only playing as a power chord. It's just I'm just forming the whole chord there, so I'm only playing sixth, fifth, and fourth. So we go E, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're into the chorus. So that section you're just hitting a crotchet on a or one beat on the one, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Okay? So let me just put that together. This is the last time before the chorus. time just to get back into the, into the chorus part okay so that's your intro part kind of you know I, I would learn that as as it is and, 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 and get used to it and then we can sort of we're going to tag into the chorus now all right so the chorus goes <laughs> Okay, so we start with the A, okay, and the rhythm is one, two, okay, so the, the first, sorry, the first note on the A is just a, a minute, it's one, two, so one, two, three, four, and, okay, now the D that I'm moving to there is actually D over A, because he keeps the A in the bass, so we get that sound, so it's A, 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 D, okay, so we're going to go one, slowly A A A D D D G bass note G D F R sharp okay Just like that. 
Okay, so just to recap, it can be a little bit tricky. I'll just take you through those chords one more time. A, the D over A is a D chord, but with the A in your bass, you're striking five strings with that. Okay, the next move is that you hit the G bass note. You're then going to play your G chord, but your third finger is already there. Okay, and you're playing again sixth string. You're muting the fifth, open third, open fourth fretted the second and third, and then we're down to our D over F sharp, which is second fret, muted fifth, open fourth, second fret, third string, third fret, second string, got that? <laughs> so. Okay, and that's our chords, so and that's just a two, two bar sort of loop, if you like, all right? So then the, uh, the very last section that I'll look at is the what I call kind of the bridge, or pre-solo or, or whatever you might want to call it. Um, so we come out of the chorus, so this is the last time of the chorus. And we just hold on the D instead, so it's A, 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 And we've got quite a long hold on the D, so we have A, D, two, three, four. Nice and easy is a D sus four chord where you play just we go from the D to a D sus four. So you just put your little finger on the top string of the um, third fret because you get that. You, I'm sure you're familiar with D sus. So we're playing um, A from the chorus. A, A, D, two, three. I'm going to have D, D sus four, D. Section there. Let me walk through that one more time. So it's A, 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 D, two, three, a whole bar. Then we're going to go to D, D, sus four, D, whole bar, two, three, four. Then this last bit, we're going to go D. Okay, so that goes from D to D, sus four, back to D. Then we're back to D, sus four again. It's a little bit complicated. So D, it's D sus four, back to D, then three with the sus four, and then back to D. So it's D. Okay. So again, that section, tap it out. Dun, 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 dun. Let me put that whole bit together out of the chorus. player would be the chorus um, but as a lead player would be the solo all right so those are all the sections broken down um, again I think something like this could be really really uh, quite difficult if you're constantly thinking fours and ands and offbeats and things which are obviously valid but you've got to try and internalize the rhythm somehow um, whether that's clapping or, or whatever it is all the things I suggested I think you're going to get results a lot quicker and I think actually you're going to learn it a lot better because you learn the rhythm and the music and then internalize it rather than thinking about um, dotted notes and, and counting and all that sort of stuff um, might be initially more difficult but I think it's really worth it so that's why um, my approach has been a little bit more kind of coming from an oral perspective as opposed to kind of counting dots and things today all right cool well I hope you enjoyed it it's been really fun it's a great tune enjoyed playing it um, and yeah I'll see you guys soon cheers <laughs>